Hey guys, it's Scarlett with Build Across, and today I'm going to be showing you how I paint this Valentine's teddy bear cutout. First, I went in and kind of traced his face and eyes and his arm just to kind of get a sense of where everything's going to go on the cutout. And then I went in with some chocolate brown paint and began to paint um, his head, you know, minus the, the face that I'm going to paint tan later, his legs, and I saved the arm for last when I was painting so that it would kind of um, have a different texture right there so that I would still be able to see the outline of his arm. Next, I'm going in with some tan paint and I'm just filling in his face and his belly. And when you're painting his face, you could have left out um, his eyes but I just went ahead and painted over them. Now I'm going to go in with a one inch foam brush and some hot pink paint and I'm going to paint the heart. And now I'm going back in with some of that chocolate brown paint and just painting a little bit over his stomach to kind of show the arch of his back. Next I'm going in with a small detailed brush around a number three paint brush and some tan paint and I'm just starting to kind of outline the teddy bear and where like um, you know kind of show the definition of like where his arm starts where his legs start to kind of separate them from each other because uh, if you just leave it brown they kind of all run together. And these aren't solid lines when I'm just doing this little detailing. It's just kind of, um, I don't have to do a solid line around the entire thing. You can kind of break it up. Now I'm going to go in with a one inch foam brush and some light pink paint. And I'm going to dip it into some, that pink paint and then kind of wipe most of it off. And I'm going to paint stripes on the heart. And the reason I wiped most of it off is so that... Um, the stripes wouldn't be completely opaque. Next I'm going in with some golden yellow paint and I'm just painting a line across the heart which is going to be a ribbon. And the ears of the bow. Now the tails of the bow. And after this step, I'm going to go in with a number zero long detailed brush and some black paint. And I'm going to just fill in his nose. I'm also going to paint on his eyes. And I kept the eyes um, right on the corners of the nose and kind of tilted them. And if you want to, you can trace this out with a pencil before you go in and paint it. And using that same brush, I'm going to go in and just do a little smile. And also, I'm going to go back over where I did the tan detailing and highlight it with black just to give it some definition and some shadows. Outline his face. Anytime I do the detailing work on my products, I really like to use multiple colors. So if I use, um, like on this, I use tan and black. A lot of times I use white and black. Sometimes I'll use like a, a highlight color and black or, or white, just depending on how dark the product you're working with is. Uh, you might not want to highlight with black. You might should highlight with white. Now I'm going in and outlining the bow. This black paint I'm using is by Apple Barrel, and we buy this at Walmart. 
Um, it's a really good consistency for highlighting. It's not too watered down where it's dripping, but it's also not thick because you do not want to paint with thick paint when you're doing the details. And now I'm just going in with that same brush and some white paint and highlighting his lips and his nose and his eyes. This is the same paintbrush I was using just a second ago. And that's it, you guys. This is a pretty easy tutorial. And I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you like and share. And y'all have a good day.